place is a really special one to us since a long time. A lot of people asked us about uh, our sailing experience and where we come from and uh, this is the place that we first sailed together like some 10 15 years ago, taking guests out in the archipelago here. It's super beautiful. There is very close between the islands and the water is normally a bit calm, it's not too windy. We were really excited to re-see those places and to show them to you. Now we're gonna cast off and head south for the Lefkada Canal. Now of course it was off season and most boats were left in the marina for the winter or on the hard in the big boat yards around. But we thought the more space for us. We took off for our first stop, Nidri, a bit south along the coast. Nidri is not one of our favorite places, but there is a waterfall close by. This is one of the more touristy places on the Lefkada island, where many come for a shorter week. But now it was not a lot of people, and a lot more quiet. We soon found our way towards the waterfalls, and now in the winter we also thought we had a better chance to actually find some water there. Than I, I don't know what I expected. We weren't sure it was going to be that much water, but uh, it's a waterfall in several parts. It follows uh, a long way, so yeah, it's a really, really nice. Leaving Nidri, we continued south on the island. So we are soon uh, approaching the entrance to Sivota. Uh, you can see it's um, behind a small little hill over there, so it's not very far. It's a very sheltered and protected bay. And we hope it's still gonna be pontoons in the water. <laughs> Thank you. 
even more quiet and it felt a bit strange to be back at those places in its winter settings. Now, not a single place was open here. It was almost impossible to imagine how lively it gets in the summer. But we enjoyed the quietness and planned for a special thing in the morning. We finally have a calm day with the low key so we can try to polish a bit of the boat. It's been quite a long time without it and it looks really crappy. Time for the bow part. We're doing good. You like this, right? Oh, this is so much fun. A polishing in any form is uh, so much fun. Good job. Yep. So now we're gonna take you to another uh, really nice little anchorage. Not so little anchorage actually. Uh, it tends to be a lot of boats in the season, but there is normally also space enough to everybody. of Meganesi there is plenty of base to choose from uh, and they are very deep uh, so you can have protection from most winds in uh, at least some of them so uh, it's um, just to pick any out of choice actually but we're gonna go inside uh, a few of them to have a look around here and go to uh, the next part of uh, the good anchorage places but it's uh, it's pretty here too but it's uh, a lot of new built houses probably it's gonna be the same all over because it's a while since we've been here last time it was a little bit more secluded then Look at the houses, it's not bad.
drop the anchor in the bay on the outside of uh, Megan Isi or the, the east side. We've never been here before, but it's uh, it's pretty. It's uh, small patches of sand because we don't want to drop the anchor on the Posidonia grass, even though people in Greece normally are not uh, as aware of it as they are in Spain, for example. But we want to be as good as possible to nature. And there is a nice little beach inside there. And uh, inside of the beach is a tiny little pond. So we'll see if we take Tilbury to shore or not. But we're going to make some lunch at first and just uh, enjoy the views. And being the only boat here, which only happens in winter season. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and join us next week when we take you to some really pretty places around the Ionian Islands.